find is going to be camera locations. Now, camera locations, some people would say is quite an advanced mechanic. Thing is, it's such an important mechanic. <clears throat> and you've really got to change it if you want to be using that from the start. So the first thing you want to do is go into your options and you'll say, what are camera hotkeys? Well, <clears throat> camera hotkeys are where you can actually save a location of your screen. So all you need to do is press a hotkey and it will zoom you. And you normally set this to your first four or five bases as well as maybe a few other points on the map. By default, they're on absolutely atrocious hotkeys, but these are one of the most important things to make playing the game easier. So what you do is you go F10, hotkeys, so, F10, options, hotkeys, global. <clears throat> you want to open up camera. You want to scroll on down to create location one. Now, at the moment, it's on control F5 and control shift F5. Who the hell could ever reach these buttons? No one knows. So what you want to do is you just want to make it control F1, control F2, control F3, <clears throat> control F4, Control F5, Control F6. I mean, you can make these Control F7 and F8, but you know, not many, not many people are ever going to reach those. And I personally think most of the time you only really need six. Now, not only do you need to do the create, but you also need to change the hotkey that recalls them. So we need to go through this this next group. We're going to go F1. Oops. There we go. Make sure as you're doing this, you're not accidentally left clicking. So notice a left mouse button. Oh my god, I just got rid of the ability to select things by misclicking there. So if that ever happens, <clears throat> what I just removed, so I've, I've added all these, so they're nice. I've actually just removed unit management selection. That's literally your ability to click on things in the game. I just removed because I took away left click from it. So I can go unbound, I click on it, it takes me to that. And all I need to do is put the left click there and that'll be great. Now, one downside of uh, changing those mechanics, and the reason why Blizzard have automatically put your camera hotkeys on bad hotkeys is because they've got the select all army key on F2 normally. So we've moved that. So how about we put that on a nice accessible hotkey still? Because especially I think Terran players benefit quite a lot from using it. It's something I think a lot of players should try to get used to not using very often. <clears throat> but you know what's a great hotkey? That. Now, if you don't know what the hell that is, that's tilde. So if you think of the squiggly line that's next to the number one, and that's the hotkey we're, we're using. You've got a few hotkeys that aren't really used in your generic standard layout at all, but are still very accessible. So that's one of them. Now, at the end of changing that, you always want to check unbounds. And you want to say, what's going on here? And we will say, push to talk, voice chat. Well, I don't care about that. Um, unit management, idle worker. OK, idle worker, that's another one, which is very useful. But we've, we've gone and moved. So we're going to have to edit that one as well. So uh, idle worker is what? that does is it basically grabs your workers that aren't doing anything, the ones that are just chilling. So what we're going to do is we are going to grab that hotkey. We're going to think of a good hotkey for that. Uh, how about we just throw that on caps lock? Because caps lock is kind of an awkward key to touch, but you don't need to press this hotkey very often. As long as it's in an accessible location, which it is, we'll put that on caps lock. Obviously, it's up to you where you want to customize your things. Um, but the caps lock and tilde, as well as usually W, pretty accessible hotkeys. So let's accept that. One unbound hotkey, that's fine. Yes, we're going to say standard not crap hotkeys is what we're going to call our profile so that it saves. <clears throat> and then whenever you want to change, if you want to change back to standard, you don't like it, you can just click standard. If you want to change back to standard not crap hotkeys, you can just click there at any point. <clears throat> so that's the first thing we can do. Now, with camera hotkeys, why are they so damn important? You know, I'm going to swap back to my own hotkeys just so, because otherwise my brain's going to get confused while I'm talking about this. Um, <clears throat> basically, what they allow you to do is they allow you to, uh, to do so many different things. So we're taking a third base. So at the start of the game, one of the first things you do is you create a camera location on your main base. Then your second base, your third base location, your fourth, and your fifth. And look at this. It allows me to zoom between them at the touch of a button. It's absolutely amazing. And that's fantastic <clears throat> because let's imagine there's a drop in my main. Oh shit, I need to run my workers. Look how fast I can pull workers away. Oh shit, run to the third. Oh, my fourth base, base needs drone. 
needs drones. <laughs> my, my fourth beef will need drone. Um, apparently my ability to speak is a little bit impaired. I'm going to blame my throat being a little bit gross today, but <clears throat> that's probably not even the reason. So it allows you to zoom between your bases. Now something you'll notice is these aren't really centered. On the places where I haven't built... <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh my god. So, <clears throat> they're not really centered. What happens is, so often you'll have it like this. So you got your main and then your natural. You notice it's not centered. The problem is then, when you're zooming around, you want your hatchery to always be centered. So it's always consistent how you're going to be selecting workers. So what you should do is you should always have your hatcheries on a hotkey. So after you build a hatch, like so, let's say we've just built this one. You want to then box the hatchery. You want to add it to your hotkey. So in this case, I'm adding it to number one. And now I can double tap number one. And double tapping on it will center on the closest one. So it'll center on that hatchery. And now I recreate that camera location. And now it's centered. Likewise with this one. Okay, this one's off center. Double tap one. Centered. That's something you always want to get in the habit of doing if you do learn your camera hotkeys. And this mechanic as a whole is absolutely beautiful. It just makes such a big difference. It really does help out. <clears throat> so that's camera hotkeys. Uh, you can use them for defense. You can use them for main arting workers around. It just makes it easier to do your macro tasks. Um, <clears throat> for Zerg players, it's also important for injecting. There are different ways of injecting, but the number one way of injecting used by all pro gamers and a lot of non-pro gamers as well. So if you, if you learn camera hotkeys, it's easy to learn this. Basically, we're going to see it now. All I do is zoom to camera location one. So you, all you have to do is press F1 to do that. Once you've created it, inject. Zoom to F2 by just tapping F2, F3, and just box the queen, throw the inject. It's very manual. There's a few shortcut methods, <clears throat> but they all have their drawbacks in the long run. I'm definitely not saying don't do them 100%, but if you want to learn the efficient way from the start, and you don't, so you don't have to unlearn things later, that's the best way to go about it. 